a very good afternoon i think it's a full house so thank you so much ms elio for this great opportunity the section says founder story so every founder you know has a very unique story a very different journey a very different challenges but there are certain common traits which every founder has so my story has been of persistence my story has been of endurance so i'll talk about and share my journey in all my startups that i have built and the journey for the ev revolution which is what i am part of now so my journey started with my first job which made me realize that i can do much more i can offer a lot to the consumers which are facing a lot of problem in the r&d segment so my journey started with my first startup which is into technology consulting r&d support where from a two founders journey started with a team of 100 people with bootstrapped it and then building it into a multi million dollar revenue company making profits and into a customer backed organization so in that process or building that uh, organization there were a couple of things that really really changed me first of all when you are selling innovation in india or selling innovation to mid size company which is struggling for their cash flow struggling for their you know survival that's the toughest thing which you pick up you're telling them to innovate you're telling them to build product and that was my toughest call that i took when i started you know my first venture but yes that's where the founder is all about being persistent right so there was a gap in the uh, you know in the industry that where definitely for mnc's big companies there has been big teams working and you know doing all the innovation under the r and d roof but what about these mid size companies that's where we started offering our services being their in house innovation team that was my first venture which also introduced me to different tech areas different technology different except pharmaceuticals we worked in almost every segment of industry whether it is software whether it is even mechanical side electronics and so ev now comes the very difficult uh, situation which everyone faced was covid now what to do 100 team members how they going to survive how the company is going to survive you know there is a reason why i'm sharing this because every entrepreneur out there they have to every day live up to it right it's every day is very very different highs and lows now comes the the toughest moment of every startup every company was covid you know when covid hits and you really don't know what's going to happen ambiguous situation how do you going to survive then that's where your persistence comes into play that yes you cannot let the you know revenue dip a you have to have higher load bearing capacity you know i'm using the automotive language but that's endurance how much more you can do so one of the uh, early morning calls i remember with my team hey guys it's a tough time that has come up we really don't know what's ahead i think we make 10 calls 20 calls a week let's double it up let's see let's increase the probability let's work out i also didn't know the answer if we really we will succeed the team was little uh, worried little scared little you know more have to, we have to work but as a leader as a founder you have to stand there strong though inside i was very very scared that what's going to happen 
So that's where, as founder, my story of being persistent, being uh, very, very strong-headed, like yes, and always at it. During this journey, definitely a uh, very important thing, uh, what working with so many uh, startups, like I started my career with one customer that too came from a reference from my IIT Kharagpur colleague, like a batchmate and, uh, you know, uh, very easy uh, initially when you are from that network, you get the first client. But after that, building on that client is the real journey. So when I was working with these innovative companies, I realized that if you have to be ahead of game, it has to be innovation. It has to be a differentiating factor. There has to be technology which sets you apart. And that was the key which you know, I picked up from my first uh, journey of startup. During this tenure, definitely I got a golden opportunity to work with multiple EV startups across the globe because we had offices in US and you know, working uh, across the globe in multiple countries. And that is where the EV journey started. Now what the transition that was happening from, you know, uh, we moving to a uh, cleaner environment, more than that, what I realized is the real shift would happen when there are right kind of services, right kind of product. As an entrepreneur, always when you're offering some service, you want to build a product. I also had that dream. Like my product should be seen on the shelf or you know, my product uh, should be on the roads or you know, people know me by product. That was the dream I started Oben Electric. August 2020, amidst all COVID, uh, that was the hard call again, uh, getting into automotive, which is like, uh, I would say the second uh, toughest business after aerospace or the complex business rather, let me put it that way, business is tough. That's where the Oben Electric story started. Then now the problem comes, what are we up there to solve? What is that we are offering? Are we introducing something new to the consumers? No. They, everybody here must have driven a two-wheeler, right? Everybody, uh, every Indian uh, consumer, you know, it's like a commodity. In each house, we have a two-wheeler. How do I make these guys shift? Is it that easy? No, it's not. I have to give something very similar or much, much better. And that was where the innovation story started in Oban Electric. With having the background of uh, knowledge of EV, working with multiple companies, getting that experience, now you need to really get headstrong because everyone telling this is tough, this is next to impossible. But somewhere you, deep down, you just tell yourself you can make it happen. You have to just make things move, make the right move. Which Oben Electric, my journey, the important point that made me, you know, move forward was meticulously you keep planning, you know. There could be uh, tons of ideas, tons of solutions, but you keep planning and looking ahead that, yes, this is a solution which you are giving to the consumer, and it is a consumer story. You just can't uh, build something. Every product has a space in the market. But as an organization, you should be clear that what I am up for. Then the journey of innovation started. That how do you, I'll share certain examples that what we did as we are a motorcycle company and India is all about motorcycle, right? Globally, if you look at uh, every year, motorcycles are sold across uh, the globe. It's not just India. So that was our thesis. So as, you, as a founder, it was never that you just go by what the masses is going, but you go by your thesis, you go by your research. So that was the foundation as uh, you know, in my previous venture or the current one. Now comes uh, when I say innovation was core, uh, because moving ahead, I believed in my past, I learned that innovation will keep you ahead of competition. So that's where came the motorcycle story, the electric motorcycle, which you can see all of you. Here, the very important part was, how do you kind of make the product better 
which suits, as in the earlier uh, conversation we heard, customization. You just can't have something off the shelf, and then you say the consumer shift to it. So it has to be customized. So with our prior experience, we knew that there are certain battery chemistry which we use as LFP is meant for India, right? But there are certain challenges, like you know, LFP is known for better uh, heat resistance, more cycles, robust chemistry, but there is a challenge. It has lesser energy density, so it's a bigger battery. Now the uh, problem in the house, how do we engineer it? How do we design it? And that's where the innovation comes. As founder, as a startup, it is, the core which drives you or makes you ahead of competition. So how do you engineer it? So that was a very tough uh, problem that we had to solve, that how do we design a product when it suits the consumer? Because motorcycles are very complex to build, right? They have a different kind of emotions, and brands are built on motorcycles, right? That's the thesis as founder we have. Now coming to every, your ecosystem is talking about different technology. Your ecosystem is offering different technology. Your vendors are talking, you know, having, offering something else. And that's the challenge which as a new startup, young startup, we had to face. First of all, it's a very new industry. So skill set limitation. So I think kudos to the team before. Uh, you know, developing the skill set around EV. So we had a huge, massive challenge there, finding the right kind of, uh, you know, team. So that was another challenge as a founder, where you continuously keep working, and every day you come up with that same thought that among the, um, you know, 10 no's, there would be one yes. You will get the right thing. So that was where the, my persistence has brought me here. Now the second uh, important uh, you know, challenge, uh, which I think everyone must be facing in the EV segment is the vendor. You know, when uh, it's a new matured industry, uh, sorry, it's not a matured industry, it's completely new, getting the right kind of vendor, because vendor is pushing you the off the shelf, uh, you know, uh, product what they have. But as an OEM, you have a particular product which you're offering and it has a particular performance, particular uh, characteristics. So you cannot go by off the shelf. So that's where we had to, let me tell it this in the public, that we had to make our battery, we had to make our motor because we didn't get the right kind of a vendor. And that is where all startups, that is where the founder takes a call to take this hard decision that you have to build it. You can't wait for the world to come in because as a startup, you have limited resources. We bootstrapped it till our, you know, our first seed round. Uh, we built up a functional prototype till that. So you have very limited resources. So that is where your, you know, persistence comes in. That is where the endurance plays a big, big uh, role that now you have to work double because your vendor is not there. You have to develop yourself, right? So that's been the kind of core that you have to innovate as a startup. You can't say, or as a founder, you have to have that in your head right, that you have to build yourself. You have to find out uh, problems. So these were certain things where these challenges where our product is right now ready for sale. We are right now right uh, there in the corner to kind of get the product uh, to the consumers. And yes, uh, this journey has been not uh, easy, but not impossible. That's something uh, strongly as a founder, I believe. And I think it is the story for every founder out there in this room, that you keep, keep going and you are at it. So that has been our story in uh, Uban Electric. Being on top on the innovation, you are continuously working on it, your persistence and the endurance which takes you further. So that has been uh, my story as a founder. I've been a serial entrepreneur. So the story remains same that you keep solving and you keep moving. 
So thank you so much, Ms. Elio. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you.